Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca, if we have never met before, and this is my channel where I talk about all the houseplant things. Today we are going to be doing a bit of a mashup video. So I have recorded myself unboxing plants from three or four different occasions, and I wanted to just mash them all together so that it would just be one big unboxing video. Now I will let you know that this video has been filmed over a couple of months. This is definitely not all acquired in one day. Springtime is probably when I do purchase the most plants and I have been getting rid of a lot of plants as well. I had a couple of successful sales on Facebook, so I'm really excited about that. So that is basically what this video is going to be. I hope that you enjoy this unboxing video and all of the different places that I got plants. Some of them gifted and some of them I bought. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello, welcome to today's unboxing. I'm excited to be opening up this box. This box is from Green Spaces, which we have seen so much of on YouTube lately. The great, the good, the bad, the ugly. I think it's been all of those. They wanted to send me some plants as a thank you for the original video that I made with them. And obviously I was very excited about this because I really do love them and all of their plants. They have such a wonderful selection. I think that I'm pretty much a pro opening up these boxes now. All right, we've got her open. Let's check it out. This fuzz is seriously the best. I'm really loving it. It's great for insulation. <coughs> so this first plant, I'm pretty certain, is an Adaba Poensi, which I've never seen in person before. I'm really excited to see how it is. The only person I've ever seen have one of these is Nicole from My Queen Leaf, and hers is not doing so hot. But this one, sorry Nicole, is doing really, really well. So it is a very beautiful plant. I'm always just so shocked at how they are able to get these all to lay flat. I don't know how they do it. So I have the plant here, you can see. Also my grow light makes them look super shiny, but Super, super long leaves, leaves, leaves. That was my hair. It's not a good hair day. And we have a new growth that they mummy wrapped to protect it. That's something new, I like that. Sorry if you guys can hear Leo chewing on his toy down here. I don't wanna take it away from him because he's finally just kind of chilling. Right there is a new leaf. I'm really excited about that. And I'm assuming that the roots are perfect, so I'm just gonna hold off on checking on those. But this is really nice because the back is a nice red bottom and then the front is a green. Kind of like a silvery, silvery bluish green. You can see right there, coloring. Let me turn this grow light down. Or it's not a grow light, it's a filming light. And this time I have a trash can next to me so that I can throw away all of the extra paper. Ooh, okay, this is a Melanochrysum. I love their packaging, it's so good. Oh, that's so beautiful. Check it out. That is so pretty. Okay, so we have, oh, there's a new leaf coming out. It's like ready to go as well. Right there is the new leaf and it's just like super ready. It's about to pop. So that's a beautiful specimen. Love this so much. I love the Melanochrysum. My one that I got from them before is actually finally putting out a new leaf. It had a new leaf coming when it was shipped to me, but it just kind of turned black and went away. Oh, oh, okay, this is a Billy Tie. It looks okay. This leaf looks like it did not fare well in shipping. The other leaf looks like it did better. I don't see any new growth, but there might be new growth underneath all of this. But again, you know, this is super normal and I'm not super concerned about it. I feel like this leaf will hang on for a long time, like long enough for it to sustain another leaf. And it might be a part of the one leaf club for a while, but we will see. It just depends on how well it acclimates. But I will be acclimating all of these plants in this greenhouse behind me. This is an Anthurium forgetii, which is a huge wish list plant for me. And I think that I'm actually unboxing two Forgetti Eyes in this video because I ordered another one from a seller in the United States. So it doesn't look amazing, but there is definitely potential for it to be okay. Um, we have another leaf coming in and it just looks like these two are just not so great. And then the rest of them look really nice. So Forgetti Eye is known for having sort of a zero, like just a rounded top right here. It really reminds me of a turtle shell. <sighs> what is this? Oh, I know what it is. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Beauty. This is um, an Anthurium Magnificum. And this looks 
absolutely perfect. Look at that. And you know what's really cool about it? If you can see, the leaf edges have like a red color. That is really nice. That's a beautiful plant. So it has two leaves. Obviously a very chunky root system. I'm impressed. That's really, really beautiful. And the last plant. This is a crystallinum. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So this is an Anthurium crystallinum. Really beautiful. I love this plant. So great. So I would say that in general, this was a really nice unboxing um, from Green Spaces. There are a few that did not fare super well, but I would say all of them will be just fine. All right, I will see you guys in the next unboxing. Hi everybody. Okay, so today I have a double whammy. I'm so excited. I have two boxes of plants to unbox today. One of them is a gift from Cody, the crazy plant man on Instagram. And I actually just realized I should probably send him a photo before I unbox this. So Cody actually is basically like the fairy godmother of plants. So he has actually started a hashtag that was a spinoff of Pam's Planty Things, hashtag the Planty Kindness Movement, which is basically a reminder for all of us to remain kind in the plant community which is really, really beautiful. And so Cody has extended it to say, um, Planty Kindness Gives Back. So that is his hashtag. And this is his way of giving back. He sends people plants, their wishlist plant. And this is the second time that someone has actually sent me a wishlist plant. And I'm so excited and over the moon. And honestly, like, Giving somebody a plant that they want so bad is the greatest feeling in the world. I don't know, it's just really sweet to see the community kind of giving back to each other and surprising each other in this way. I genuinely think that if you do something kind, something kind will come back to you. Becca, I'm so happy I'm able to help you check off a wishlist plant. I hope this plant brings you joy. Keep being great with Planty Love, Cody, aka the Crazy Plant Man. Thank you so much for the beautiful card. I love cards. I love reading them. Everyone always like waits to read the card until later, but I love reading it right then and there. I won't read it out loud and make people feel weird, but I'm a card reader. Okay. Wait, there's more than one thing in here. What? Oh, one of them is kind of heavy. This one at the bottom. Oh, it's not heavy. It's just taped down. <laughs> okay, awesome. So you can see how it's packaged. We just have this um, like craft paper type of situation, which is super, super easy to reuse. So thank you for that one. Oh, okay. Cody, you asked me about this plant. Oh, okay, so this is a philodendron horse head. Look at how cute. It's so pretty. Wow, that's a really, really beautiful piece. And there's a new leaf coming out as well. Wow. And it's wrapped in sphagnum moss and um, like cling wrap. That's so pretty. And also we had some of this fluff, which I'm beginning to really, really love because that really protects the plants super well. <gasps> Look at that. I love it. Thank you. Here we go. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Okay, 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 breathe. Okay, so this is a philodendron melanochrysum cross varicosum, which is, it was my number one wish list plant. And oh my gosh, and the back of these leaves, it has the varicosum trait with the red color, and we have a new leaf coming in. <laughs> this is so pretty. This is literally so beautiful. You know, there are some plants that I see in person and I'm kind of, not disappointed, but just like, oh, that's what it looks like. But this is not one of those plants. Like, it is so soft and beautiful. And it is like, it is thicker than the philodendron varicosum. I think that's like the melanochrysum part of it. Um, anyway, I'm not great at that kind of stuff. But anyway, this is thicker than the varicosum in my experience. My, the varicosum that I got as a wish list plant granted from Rachel Heart Shaped Leaves is a little bit thinner than this. I'm so excited right now. Cody, your kindness is honestly inspiring. So thank you for 
doing this whole Planty Kindness Gives Back thing, I cannot be more excited to be a part of a community that does this kind of stuff. And I'm really excited to send the plant to the person that I'm going to give back to. Thank you, Cody, for doing this and being so generous with your plants. Always so generous. I'm definitely not the first person to receive a plant from him. I have another box. It is from a Facebook group and I'll put the name on the screen. I'm kind of blanking on the name of it. This video is very casual, okay? It's not like super, super information packed. This was the plant order that kind of inspired me to make this video because I wanted to show you guys plant sellers in the US where you can get things like anthurium and nice philodendrons. I know that a lot of people might have reservations about ordering overseas, but the thing is you can still find these plants in the US. You just have to pay a bit more. I did pay for this order. It was a pretty penny to be honest with you, so I'm hoping that this will be a happy unboxing. I'm not sure at all what to expect. Ooh, okay, this is the first time I've ever received a box like this. Look at that. It is very, very heavy. So I purchased two anthuriums, and from what I can see, they look really big, actually, like really nice. So, oh mercy, okay, lots of soil. But at least it's all contained in this little thing. This is a great thing, I'm gonna be reusing that. So let's see if I can settle some of that dirt. Okay. Whoa. This thing is huge. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's really dirty right now, but once I get it cleaned off, it'll look much more beautiful. I mean, it already looks freaking beautiful, let's face it, but this is an Anthurium Regale, which was a huge wishlist plant for me as well. And when I saw that this seller sold this plant, I just had to figure it out. I just had to get in there and try it. Um, so this seller sells on Facebook. They have a basically a Google form where you order and then they'll send you an invoice and you pay it. It's like through QuickBooks. So it's really legit. And um, QuickBooks is like, um, a financial software if you're not familiar. So they also have a Google Sheets page where they show you their inventory at all times and what the cost is. And then they have some photos of the type of plant that you could get. And in some cases, they show you the exact plant you're going to get. So yeah, this is the Anthurium Regale. Let me show you the other leaves here. Okay, Leo's playing in the paper. So we have this leaf, which looks really nice. This leaf, which looks like one of the older leaves. And then we have a brand new leaf right here, if you can see that like little coppery color. That is absolutely incredible. Okay, wow. So this next plant here, it's really difficult to move on quickly, but for the sake of the video, the only thing that's unfortunate about that company is there is a lot of soil spillage, but I guess these kind of keep it contained. But I don't love when I get a package and there's soil everywhere. It makes it really kind of irritating, but at least the plant is happy. It's, I would rather have soil everywhere than an unhappy plant. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, look at that new leaf. Okay, this is an Anthurium Forgetii. This is the second one I'm unboxing in this video. And I have to admit that this one looks much better. And the soil spillage was a lot better contained in this package. So they did saran wrap it, just kind of around the top and then left the stump exposed. So this does look exactly like the photos that they had on their Google Sheets page. Can you see how that leaf has like a little orangey tint? That's super beautiful. Wow. Today was a successful unboxing. <laughs> okay, so this plant was, I think, $75 or $100, no, no, $75. And the Regale was $175 or something like that. So like I said, they were expensive. It was not a cheap purchase by any means, but I wanted to show you guys a new company that you could possibly purchase something from and just kind of show you other options besides import options because I know a lot of people don't feel comfortable with that. I figured that I could be the guinea pig for us because I know that it is a little bit difficult to find companies that sell these kinds of plants in the U.S. for not astronomical prices and Sometimes they are available in like purges and stuff like that, but purges honestly freak me out. <laughs> it's a lot to worry about. So anyway, um, I hope that, that was helpful for you. Hi everybody. It is the next day of filming this video. 
It is now April, April 1st. So happy, happy, happy April 1st. Wait, no, it's April 2nd. Sorry, happy April 2nd. I have a box that has arrived from Tennessee Tropicals. I ordered this plant at the beginning of March and they didn't ship it out until this week, really. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure why they waited until the end of March to send out these plants, but I believe that these are water soluble little things. So what we have here is the plant is wrapped in paper and then it was taped to the bottom of the box. There is some loose soil, but honestly, when you send a plant with soil, that's gonna happen. <gasps> oh, okay. So before I open this up, Tennessee Tropicals is a place that I recommend to people if you wanna buy plants online. I have, this is the second time I've ordered from them and I had a really, really awesome experience both times. I mean, I'm looking at the plant right now and it looks amazing. So I think that they are definitely a trusted plant seller and they are a plant seller that has some pretty sought after plants every once in a while. They do restock their website pretty frequently and they update you on Instagram when that is. So definitely keep an eye out on their Instagram for updates on their shop. Woohoo! Look at that! All right, I'm trying to minimize the mess here. Okay, so this is a Hoya Callistophylla, which is one of the Hoyas that I thought I would never find. So when I saw that they had it in stock, I like jumped on that very quickly. So this is what it looks like. You can see the plant has really, really distinct veining on these leaves and it's just so striking. And there are a lot of leaves on this plant. Oftentimes I see people buying these from overseas and then the plant has like two leaves on it. But thankfully those plants do, you know, they do grow more leaves. But I just was really excited to find a established vine here. And it looks really healthy. It could definitely use like a rinse. It looks like there is a little bit of damage, but honestly nothing that can't be fixed. I mean, the plant honestly looks perfect. It just needs a good wash down. And I'm just really excited about this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove all of this packaging stuff and then check the soil. And if it's good soil, I will keep it in this pot and put it in my greenhouse, which I have been using to acclimate all of my plants. I made an entire video about that greenhouse if you haven't seen it before. Um, actually, I think I unboxed something in front of it in the last clip, but if you are interested in that greenhouse and everything involved with that, I will have the video linked up in the cards and in the description box below for you. All right, you guys, are those plants not incredible? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have all of these plants now. I love every single one. I'm so, so, so happy that I have them. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing the joy on my face and just sort of experiencing unboxing these plants with me. It is always really fun to bring you guys along on this type of stuff. If you did like this video, I have an entire playlist for unboxing videos and plant shopping and all of these things. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.